Hello, I'm Alex, and today I'll be showing you how easy it is to install a Grower Quick Fix B-Day Tap with a pop-up waste set. I'll use the Grower Start as an example. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. An important note before we start. This installation also applies to many other models with a pop-up waste set, even if your model looks completely different. But we're focusing on installing the mixer here, not the ceramic B-Day. And one more thing, of course you should turn off the water before installation. So, let's get started. First, let's check what's in the box. Take a look at the enclosed installation manual. You can also use the QR code to find additional important information, as well as the installation video. All you need to install your new tap is this installation tool. Alternatively, you can use a 13mm and a 19mm spanner, along with a small Phillips head screwdriver. Let's get started then! The first thing you have to do is slide this black seal over the hoses, so that no water can escape from between the tap and the bidet. You have to pay attention to the correct alignment here. The collar of the seal must point downwards, as this will later lock the mixer in the middle of the bidet's tap hole, ensuring that the tap hole is covered. It's best to install the pop-up waste set directly. It's simply inserted through the hole provided. Insert carefully, and then you're done. Now prepare the counter screw. There are small tabs in the rubber holder that prevent the half-moon seal from falling down again. This makes it easier to fit the mixer. Then slide the whole thing over the fastening bolt underneath the bidet, with the rubber holder facing upwards. Tighten it manually first, and then using the installation tool, until the tap no longer twists on the bidet. However, beware, it will come off if you tighten it too far. Now you just need to install the drain. To do this, take the plug out of the drain and then unscrew it. The foam seal is installed on the drain funnel, which you now simply insert through the drain hole in the bidet. Now unscrew the ball rod from the drain, so that you can attach it under your bidet more easily. Simply screw it onto the funnel along with the seal. Make sure that the drain fitting is tightened so that the drain valve is tight. You can tell it's tight because the white seal has pulled itself tightly against the ceramics. The pop-up waste set must point backwards after the drain fitting has been tightened. For this, you need this little joint here. This allows you to connect the pop-up waste set to the drain's horizontal pop-up waste rod. If necessary, shorten the horizontal pop-up waste rod with a saw and position the joint accordingly so that the pop-up waste set can be taken up. Now push the pop-up waste set up a little so that it will be easy to grip later and fix it with a small screw. If necessary, you can now adjust the drain plug so that the water drains slower or faster. In order to do this, turn the screw at the bottom of the plug in or out to set the desired height. You can fix your setting with the help of the small metal nut. Next, it's the flexible connection hoses turn. These already have an integrated seal and can be easily connected directly to the angle valves. The right-hand hose is always used for cold water and is connected to the right-hand angle valve. The left-hand hose is for hot water and goes to the left-hand angle valve. You simply place the screw connection on the thread and turn it hand tight until it stops on the thread of the angle valve. Then tighten it firmly with the installation tool until the connection is secure. Make sure that the hoses do not become kinked or twisted. It's best to hold the hoses by hand or with a suitable tool when tightening them. Now slowly open the angle valves and check that everything is tight. Here's a little tip. First turn the angle valves all the way to the left, and then back again a half or quarter turn. The valves will then be easier to operate in the future. Finally, let some water run into the closed basin, in order to check whether everything is tight. Done! That was easy, wasn't it? 